Well, it's always nice to have a little royalty here in the studio, and we do so have that today. We want to welcome Miss Tennessee Hannah Robinson back to Daytime Tri Cities. And Hannah, it's always good to have you back on the show. It's always great to be in East Tennessee. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, not your first visit to the area. It's not. I think it's my third for the year, so that I've been nice. here a few times. Well, it's good to have you back. Thank you. And we want to talk a little bit about what you're doing for the Arthritis Foundation because really, quite a platform and you're covering a lot of ground. I am. Um, Miss Tennessee has given me a state platform to really promote something that is important to me. I've had five family members suffer from arthritis and a lot of people don't realize that it's not just a grandparent's disease. It mm -hmm. affects people of all ages. 300,000 children are affected wow. by arthritis and it's the leading cause of disability in our country. And so I really work hard to try to get people more aware. There's actually over a hundred diseases that fall under the arthritis umbrella. Wow. So it's not just osteoarthritis that you get as you age or that you get after an injury. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more to it than that. And uh, Miss Tennessee and Miss America have allowed me to really have um, an, even a national platform for the Arthritis Foundation. Well, and I know you've opened a lot of people's eyes, and just recently I, I met a woman whose child was diagnosed, mm -hmm. and really to see something like that, it's devastating. It's really tough. I met, um, this past year, I've actually met a little girl named Emma. She's not little, but she's in high school, and she has rheumatoid arthritis, and it's an autoimmune disease, yeah. so when you're affected by something like that, it makes you more susceptible to other diseases and you know she's got an alopecia where in high school she's lost all of her hair all of mm. her eyelashes and eyebrows and that's a difficult time for a girl oh, sure. being completely healthy and well mm. and so it's something that people don't understand how severe it is yeah. it is an invisible disease and um, it's something that I want to make people aware of and you have a few more months to continue to I wear do. the crown. You're getting ready about four months four left. Four months. That what is, is that crazy. like? Knowing you're almost, you're almost, you know, toward the end. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back in school mode. Um, I think <laughs> I probably. Fast, yeah, it? it does. I feel like. I was just crowned Miss Tennessee. I definitely feel like I was just at Miss America, and I can't believe I only have four months left. It has been too fast, yeah. uh, but such a great experience. I love the state of Tennessee. I'm so lucky it's a beautiful state because I'm in the car traveling yeah, constantly. Yeah. Um, so I, I've loved the job. It's going to be sad to give it up, but I'm looking forward to seeing who the new girl will be. Yeah. I'm excited to see um, her journey and the year that she'll have next year. And just looking back over the year, I'm sure that you have learned so much and experienced so much. I mean, I can't imagine I what have. that has brought to your life. Yeah, a lot of um, self-discipline, I guess, and definitely being independent. It's something, I travel alone everywhere I go, which is kind of crazy um, to be only 22 and like on the road constantly by yeah. myself. Uh, but it's been a great experience. I've learned a lot about myself. I've gotten to meet incredible people, make incredible connections yeah. and I know that it will help me um, in my future career. Yeah, and you're almost done with school. What does the future hold for you, Hannah? What are you hoping I to do? I am a chemistry major at the University of Tennessee at Martin, and I have 17 hours left. Oh. So close. Uh, I think I want to teach. Um, you know, Miss Tennessee has allowed me to go into schools and speak to school children, and even UT Martin's given me the opportunity to teach an undergraduate chemistry course, mm -hmm. and I love teaching, but I also love research. So I'm kind of trying to decide to go the teacher route or the research lab route. Uh, but I think there's also ways to do both. Mm -hmm. So we'll just see what opportunities open up after I'm finished. And I love your passion for science and, and teaching that to young ladies. And you're such an inspiration. And so to get that to them and, you know, they look up to you. And so it's something they need to hear that they can do. Yeah. Um, I really try to promote STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, yeah. especially in young women, uh, because, you know, it's something that we're kind of discouraged. Um, to kind of enter into. So I want to give them that extra push yeah. to keep trying and to get more involved with STEM education. Well, that is great. Well, we are certainly appreciative of having you stop by. Come see us anytime. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy your last few months. Thank you. We'll all be watching. <laughs> I appreciate it's it. Great to have you on the show. Best of luck. Thank you.